looks like we have another blockbuster on our hands, Tom. Shane, I think the Australian film industry has truly come of age. Five stars uh, from where I'm sitting. I want to take a moment to do something we did on the last series and have a look at some real life, thank God you hear, moments. Situations where people, much like our performers here tonight, get asked a question and you kind of get the impression that they're sort of making it up on the spot. First up, let's go back a couple of months. Uh, it was on the eve of the global financial crisis uh, and our treasurer, Wayne Swan, was asked whether he was satisfied with disclosures made by our financial institutions. Uh, I'm satisfied that our regulators are satisfied uh, that the disclosures are, are, are satisfactory. <laughs> It's, it's the R, uh, R, uh, and then looking down like that, I think this slightly blows it for Wayne. But uh, staying with the, uh, the global meltdown, uh, the shadow treasurer, in fact, he wasn't shadow treasurer when this was taped, but he is now Joe Hockey, uh, was asked uh, to explain his party's uh, refusal to support the government's stimulus package. Joe Hockey, the government's stimulus package follows the advice of the IMF to a T. It's won the broad support of business unions and the Treasury, yet the opposition's decided not to vote for it. What evidence or advice did you rely on in making that decision? Well, we have a range of sources of advice. And who are they? Uh, well, I mean, we, uh, you know, some of them probably wouldn't want to be identified, others I'm sure probably would. Just give me one body that uh, has given you advice or, or backs your position. Well, i tell you who backs our position, the next generation of Australians. <laughs> right. Now, these guys are professionals, OK? So even they struggle. Let's see how our performers face up to one more test of their skills. And we've got that very test ready to go. The All In Group Challenge coming up on Thank God. Waiting for their one final test. It's the All In Challenge and stepping up to the plate. Welcome back, Angus Sampson, Jordan Raskopoulos, Rebel Wilson, and Dave Hughes. Yeah, man. I mean, what can you say? Who the hell? <laughs> I can't hear you! <laughs> now, you three are going through that door. Dave, stay right where you are. Do not look around, look at me. There you go. The All In Group Challenge, folks. Through that door. River, there you go. Through the door you go. Through the door, that door. Through the door. Come on, mate. Yeah, come, yeah, on, come on, come on. Come on. Ladies and gentlemen, the Demons of Speed will be back right after this short break. OK, thank God you're all here. The uh, promoter just has a few concerns. Yeah, that was the least spectacular display of motocross riding I have ever seen. You, stunt bike riders, normally jump over cars or buses. You jumped over a garden hose. What is exciting about a motorcycle jumping over a garden hose? It was on! Did you see it? It was... It was... The water washed the mud off him. That was... yeah. We build this show as having mind-blowing thrills and spills. Tell me one thing you did out there that was mind-blowing. I had about 15 beers before I went out there. Yeah. You promised us death-defying stunts. How is a wheelie death-defying? I did it in a bus. <laughs> All right, and you? Yeah, you. Yeah. I'm used to the starters show being all rock and roll music and pyrotechnics. Yeah. Whipping the crowd up into a frenzy. Yeah. You, yeah, you started with a prayer. What kind of message does that send? Yeah, for Christianity! <laughs> yeah. And what about your play on music? How is Celine Dion meant to rev the crowd up? Well, she makes everyone's hearts go on. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! Well, OK, all right. Yeah. Back off. Back off. All right, well, where is Mr Nitro? Where is he? Frank! <laughs> Turn your bike off. Get off, Mr. Nitro. Get off. Go, Nitro! Yeah! <laughs> Get off, Nitro. You, Nitro, you... I tell you, the bike's small, but the moon's were huge. <laughs> well, Nitro...
Maestro, you promised me 1,200 cc's of high octane power. Tell me one thing about that motorcycle that is high octane. Well, it's 100 cc's, but I did 12 laps. <laughs> Maybe you and your posse can tell me why you told me that you'd be doing motorcycle tricks, the likes of which we have never seen. Tell me one thing you did out there that we've never seen before. Oh, well, it's actually happened in my pants, to be honest, but <laughs> I don't talk to suits. Yeah, that's right. You, what? You, I, I understand the first half of the show wasn't that great, but I tell you, the next half is going to be great. What do you got planned for the second half? OK, get ready. First, he's going to do a triple backflip and land on a cow. Yeah. <laughs> and then he is going to set fire to that cow. Yeah. Yeah. Move over! <laughs> and then she is going to do Eat that. the cow. <laughs> and then I'm going to ring the RSPCA because that crap's not on. You can, can you, no, come up here. Come up here. I was going to let you see that. Come up here. We want to see you live. You were good. What about that? Have you ever ridden a bike before, Dave? Uh, no, can you tell? <laughs> <laughs> I love that entrance. Love the all-in challenge. You're all fabulous. What do you think, Tom? Shay, I love every bit about this show, except this bit, having to split these four. We just can't... I'm going to give honourable mentions to everyone. Angus Sampson, a, a hotel manager, uh, who blamed a, a, a sinking penthouse on rising damp. Now, go with me. That is the most cerebral joke made on the run I've ever heard <laughs> in my life, Angus. Uh, Rebel Wilson, not only for counting from one to five in Swedish, but for giving us the worm. The worm, uh, yeah. Dave Hughes playing two characters, a, a blue emu and a slightly bluer children's entertainer. <laughs> but look, I guess for no other reason than it was his first time making a Thank God You're Here debut uh, and uh, threatening to kill Caesar with a wedgie. I give it up for Mr Jordan Raskopoulos. Well done, Jordan. Congratulations, Flowers, for coming. We did it! Here we go. We did it! And the Flowers, by Jim Watson, Jordan Roscoe.